Wow, it's senior year already. I remember when my brother used to force me to love the sport. Well, I have put my trust in him and found the love in basketball. Man, I came such a long way. I remember when I used to suck. I was a gump. <laughs> but hey, look at me now. Thanks to all the coaches who have helped. Let me tell all of you guys something. When you have such amazing personalities on the team playing basketball, it becomes way more enjoyable. I love them all. There are so many memorable moments to my first trip with the team to LA, to our hilarious moments at practice. Basketball has helped me on and off the court. I want to give individual thanks to the big man on top. He watched over me and allowed me to do tremendous things. Next, I would like to give thanks to the head coach overall, Heather Huckabee. I want to thank you for putting up with my bratty attitude and taking care of me on and off the court. To Patty who has been there, well, she's been the most inspirational mentor I ever had. I am most honored to be your adopted daughter. Coach Fred, thanks for making me a strong host and being hard on me. To my daddy, thanks for putting up with me and supporting me all the way. I love you. Lastly, I want to give thanks to Miss Jessica Patoja. You've been there through thick and thin. You are my number one fan. You will always be. Lastly, I want to give a little word of advice to the underclassmen to never give up, play as a team, and well, I love you guys. Good luck. All right, peace. Basketball has always been my outlet from the real world. From the first time I dribbled a ball in fifth grade until now, my love for the sport has never been questioned. Basketball is the only aspect in my life that hasn't changed. From 30 point blowouts to one point wins, playing ball always gave me an unexplainable feeling. A feeling that no one and nothing else could provide for me or take away. I guess that's where I fell in love with it. Basketball isn't just a game or a hobby, it's a lifestyle. The real athletes know what I mean. This team definitely has their differences, their strong-minded opinions, their corny jokes, their attitudes, but at the end of the game buzzer, win or lose, I wouldn't trade them in for any other team. We've made it through the doubts, we've overcome all the side comments, we've made history when no one but Coach Patty and Huckabee believed in us. We have definitely came a long way. To my underclassmen, unite as one. Always know you can rely on each other. Be more than just a team, be a family. Trust one another and always keep it 100. This isn't a, a goodbye. This is a reminder to stick together when everything else is falling apart. I want to thank Coach Patty for always knowing the right things to say. Whether it was her scolding us or her telling us how much love she has for us, when we needed her, she was definitely there. Coach Huckabee, I'm beyond grateful to have you as a coach and mentor. Financially, physically, emotionally, faithfully, you never left our side. For most of us, you're the mom we never had. You have nothing but love for us and I'm here to return it. Coach Fred, <laughs> Coach Fred, Coach Fred, Coach Fred. You know I love you. Out of all the people that gave up on me, you always stuck by my side. No matter how many times I wanted to put my head down, you never let me. For that, I'm eternally grateful. LeJay Gray and Elaine Allegar, I love you two to death. Finally, I'd like to thank my two lovely escorts, Ms. Waka and Ms. Garcia. Most importantly, thank you, Lord. Without you, nothing is possible. Like J. Cole says, God is good. From my sixth grade year up to this moment, you can say I've always been under Huckabee's wings. And it's true. The time I spent with her and my basketball family throughout all these years are and will always be engraved in my heart. The memories I made, I wouldn't trade them for anything. Now that I look back at it, my life without basketball would be completely different. This second crazy family of mine have gone through so much drama, I feel like we're the Jersey Shore people, except basketball edition. We all have our differences. But at the same time, we all share the same goal, playing this game of basketball. And although we bicker and argue almost daily, we still continue to progress and put our dislikes aside to come together as one team, as sisters. This game I've come to grow in love is one of the most important factors that shaped me to be who I am today. From learning patience and teamwork, to meeting friends who become your family, to experiencing the competitiveness of it all, and the pleasure of seeing those around you grow up individually to become the present self they are now, 
words just can't express. Simply put, basketball is my life. As I stand before you tonight, memories are flashing through my mind. I just can't believe that this step in my life is almost over. With that said, to my underclassmen, don't waste the time you have left to play this game. If we could survive Huckabee, I'm pretty sure you guys could too. Don't ever let anyone keep you from reaching your full potential and just play your game. Also, I would like to thank my many coaches for dealing with my pain in the butt self. My coach Christine, Coach Patty, Coach Fred, and to Coach Huckabee. Without your commitment of forcing us to have good grades in all those practices, this program wouldn't have developed to this level. And of course, to my family. I'm sorry I wasn't always there at family events, but thank you for understanding my commitment to this game. Lastly, thank you everyone for your continuous support. You shared with us our pains and happiness. You shared with us our lives. Thank you for being a part of this family. Oh, and one last confession to hug me. Saying Red Robin was actually code to let everyone know that you were looking at us during practices. And all these times you thought we were just saying it to say it. Basketball has been my getaway sport since middle school. I continued playing into high school to stay connected with friends and develop much more love for the sport to where I just had to be involved from then on. So damn, it's kind of hard to believe that it's senior night, yet alone senior year. Since freshman year, I played JV thanks to Coach Patty. So thanks, Coach, for believing in me from day one that I entered your basketball life. You kept me motivated to get better and stick out the sport. Throughout these years, you were more than just a coach. You were someone we knew we could count on for whatever and whenever. I thank my close friends and my best friend Carmina for being by my side for three years and for motivating me to stay this last year, even without her. I honestly couldn't picture myself not playing this season. I want to thank my parents for putting up with me, you know, never being home because of practices and games. As my dad would say, I only went home to use the restroom and sleep. All the rides and everything in between is still really appreciated. What I'm gonna miss most about this team is the funny, outrageous moments. From people tripping themselves, or what they call tripping over someone else. Um, balls attacking the hell out of our heads and guts to just laugh for all the little things. To Coach Huggaby, thank you for putting up with me. I've been stubborn since middle school, and who knew I'd be here as one of your varsity players. For only being on varsity one year, I have to say that it's been a great experience. As a team, we couldn't ask for a better coach. To the team, I love every single one of you. With all our ups and downs, we managed to all stick together and pull off a great season. To the underclassmen, keep getting better and make us proud as we know you guys will. Together, you guys have the potential to go far for another good season. Remember to get over all the little things you guys will argue about. You're not just a team, you're family. Good luck, and don't give Huggabee too much of a hard time. And last but not least, I want to thank my number one fan. You know who you are. You're beyond the best. Thanks for keeping me emotionally stable. With that said, let's continue making history, ladies. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I have one of the best coaches ever, which is Huckabee. And I uh, thank my mom for always supporting me and always being for me for me. Crying 
அமைகிறது